Hi. Hi all, my name is Dima. Let's start with this session. So today I'm going to record a session on how we can create a folders, right? And how we can create a multiple folders. So let's just start with the today's session. So for that, I'll create one folder here. In the uh, cloud version, like I'm using a community edition. So here I'm creating a folder, like folder. So folder package, I will say folder package. I'm going to use folder package, okay? So here uh, inside this folder, uh, uh, folder, so I'm creating one task board. Folder package, and so to, so I just want to create a folder over here inside this RPA, right? So here I want to create a folder for that. To create a folder, we do have a package inside the uh, Automation Three Hundred and Sixty. So in the action, just type folder, okay? So inside this folder package, you can see there's a folder package. So here there's so many features are available, right? So uh, as of now, uh, I want to create a folder over here, right? So what I will do to create a folder, so you just go with the create command, okay? So drag and drop this create command, and here you can provide the path. So first initially, you need to provide a path of that, like at which location you want to create a folder, right? So at this location, I want to, I want to create a folder, and also that folder name. So whatever folder name you want to provide that, folder name you have to provide here, okay, at this location. So suppose here I want to say like a folder package to, to create one folder with this name, the folder name at this E and RP location. Okay. So here, like suppose this folder is not there that it will create it. So like let me save this one and I'll write here. So you can see the folder package is not available at this location. Okay. Folder package is not. So what it will do, it will create a folder. So you can see the folder is created here. The empty folder is created here. So if I run again this bot, if I run again, so what it will do, it will try to uh, like create same name folder here at the same location. But you can see this name, uh, this folder, the same name is already exists, right? So it will throw an error. Like it will say this same, uh, same name of this folder is already there at this location. So we cannot create. So here you can see what it is saying unable to create the same folder name right because we have already created so before creating it also there is a second if you want to override so you can override also but so so in that case whatever data is there and you are overwriting with the new folder so it will override with the blank one it will delete all the data from the existing one it will override with the blank folder right so instead of overwriting the existing folder what we have we can do it so we can check if this folder is already the name of the, this same name folder is already there at this location. So do not create these folders. For that, we can add a validation. So just go in if condition, drag and drop the if condition here. And here in this if condition, just search folder. Okay. So you can uh, use this one. If folder is already there, if folder exists at this location. Okay. So just, uh, so just use the same one, same folder path. If this folder is already there, okay, so if it is already there, then do not create, right? So instead of exist, we can say that if it is not there, then only create the folder, okay? If folder is not there at this location, then only create the folder, right? Okay, so this is we are using. So now if I run this bot, so now we will not get this that error message because this folder is there, then it will skip, it will not go inside this line of code yeah so it executed successfully right so if folder is there then do not create a folder okay so next command is in the folder package uh, just go into the folder package in the next command is copy okay so if you want to copy this folder from one location to another location so suppose if i am creating one more folder over here uh, i will say rp2 if i am creating manually right i am creating manually 
RP two, and what I, I want to do, I want to copy this folder package. So let me create one more uh, access file also here. Okay, I have created one access file inside this folder package. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to copy this folder. Okay, from this complete folder from here, and I want to paste this folder uh, in RP two. So what I can do, so for that. Uh, we you can use this copy folder command okay so we can use this copy folder command just drag and drop I'll, I'll disable this line of code okay i'll disable this line of code the first one okay the create one i'll disable this one so in the copy we need to provide the source for like like which folder you want to copy right so that location we need to provide so this folder this folder i want to copy from here so i'll provide this path here this folder I want to copy, so this will be our source folder and the destination folder location. Also, we have to try like here in the RP two, in the RP two, I want to paste that folder, right? So I'll pro provide the destination folder location. Okay, so here it is saying if this uh, same folder, this folder package is already available at this location, so you can override also, right? This whatever fi files it contains inside this one. You can override but what i want to do i want to again i want to check if this folder is already here like at this location then do not copy so for that again we can add a validation okay so use the if condition and here you just go with the folder if folder does not exist like which folder just copy this part the destination part and which folder we are checking we are checking this folder, right? This folder. If this folder is not available at the destination location, then only copy this folder, right? So instead of using this one, we can go with this validation also. So run this part and let's see if it is copied, it will copy at this location or not. Okay. So you can see this copy is done and in that folder I have added one Excel file so that is also copied here. Okay. So when we are using the copy folder command. So copy is also done. Let me disable this line of code and let's go to the another uh, command inside the folder package. Okay. So okay. So next command is create and copy we have done. Let's use the delete command. So what I have to do? So I want to delete this folder from RP2. I want to relate this folder from RP2. So I'll copy the path of this location with copy uh, the folder name and I want to relate it. So before deleting the file, I want to check if the file is exist. Like I'm sorry, if the folder is exist at that location, then only delete this one. So for that, again, before using the delete command, I'll go with the validation. So before doing anything, I just check if that file or that folder is there or not there. Okay, so I'll go with the if condition and I I'll check if folder exists. So here we will check the folder exists. If it is there, then I have to do some action, right? So for that, I'll do, uh, use this folder exist command from the if condition. And what I have to check if this folder at this RP2 is there, then I have to delete the folder, right? So for that, go to the folder package and here delete this one. You can drag and drop inside the if package and use this full part of the folder. Okay. Save this one and run this one. Then what it will do if folder exists, if it will check if this folder exists at this location, then delete this folder. And if this folder contains any files and within like in this inside this folder, there's another folder, then uh, like that will be also deleted once we will delete the root folder. You can see the folder is deleted completely. Okay, so so this is also done to delete. Okay. Okay. So now, if I want to rename the folder, okay, if I want to rename the folder, so suppose this I have I like let me create one folder over here. Manually, I'm just creating it, and this is a new folder. Okay, so this folder name is new folder. And I want to change, like rename this folder name. Okay, so so for that we can use the rename command. Copy its path this one, and just use this rename command. And 
so this is the new uh, this is the original name of the folder okay new folder and this folder name i want to change with some other folder so i will say uh, uh rpa folder package so i want to rename the this new folder name with this new folder name so let me run this part let's see if it is working or not So you can see the original name was of the folder, new folder, but now when I use the rename package, so the, whatever the rename name I have provided, so it renamed with that name, right? So this, so till now, like we have completed copy, create and delete and rename it done, right? So let's, let's go uh, to the other one. So uh, let's go, uh, let's go with the zip and unzip command. So if you want to zip this, uh, folder right if this folder contains some files so how we can do that so for that you can go with the zip command of the folder the folder package so here you can provide this uh, this folder path right so this folder if i want to give so i'll provide this complete path here and i'll delete the double quote and then uh so at the same destination i want to give here i want to show the zip one so i will provide this path here okay and uh so i'll say if you want to Rename the zip file and like once it will be zip uh, that file the original folder like this folder and the new folder name if you want to provide zip one so that also you can provide your support I want to say new zip file okay dot and the extension will be zip only right so here we can do that and if you want to delete the original file so that also for that you can select this one right and if, if you want to provide the password like once you are like if you are uh, zip the file folder and on that folder, if you want to provide any passwords, so that for that you can use this uh, option. Okay, so let's run this box, and here you can see the zip one folder, the same folder. You can zip it, and you will get the, with the new name that zip one, and the extension will be zip. Okay, so let's see the execution. So you can see zip file we got here, right? We got here, okay? So let's, if you want to unzip the folder, okay? So this is the zip folder we got. If you want to unzip the same folder, so for that, uh, what we can do, let's disable this line of code. For that, you can go with this command, unzip folder. So here, you need to provide this full path of this zip folder. So this one, you have to provide the full path, copy as path, paste here, and here the extractor for like where you want to extract like i want to store the extracted uh result of this folder one right so that location we can provide here okay and if this zip one contain any password so that password you can provide here so this way you can unzip one so in this session we have we learned about how to create the folder and also how to create a copy like how how we can copy the folder from one location to another location how we can uh, delete a folder and how we can rename the folder, how we can rename the folder, and uh, then how we can zip and unzip the folder. So thanks for watching my video. And if you have any question on this uh, folder package, just ping me on my channel. I'll re respond to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.